It won't be long until some long-awaited motion pictures will finally be released. And one of those movies is Jurassic World Dominion. It brings back memories when the first Jurassic Park movie was released almost 30 years ago. However, they're not fond memories for those at the Erie Zoo. The zoo was threatened with a lawsuit by the movie's producers. Our John Last tells us why in this edition of The Last Word. What a great time to be a movie lover. The long-awaited releases of some surefire hit movies will be happening within the next few weeks. Top Gun Maverick on May 27th. Jurassic World Dominion on June 10th. It's a big reminder of when the first Jurassic Park movie was released in June of 1993. The Erie Zoo was sponsoring a fundraiser at the ice rink it owns next door. It was an impressive exhibit featuring inflatable mechanized dinosaurs. The exhibit was called Jurassic Jungle. The dinosaur show had been open for three months when zoo officials received a letter from Universal Pictures. The studio had just released Jurassic Park. Ooh, that was quite the day. It was a really interesting uh, kind of thing. It's not every day you get uh, a, a letter like that from, from uh, Hollywood producers and, and so forth. Uh, we weren't really sure how to react at the beginning and, and um, how to take it. The studio told the zoo to quit using the word Jurassic for the dinosaur fundraiser or face a lawsuit. Apparently, the producers thought that word was theirs now. Gosh, this is a, a, word, a scientific term that's used in classrooms every single day. Uh, you know, why would they think that they own it? The exhibit was a big deal for the zoo and its effort to raise funds for a new roof at the ice rink. Study guides for teachers were printed with the name Jurassic Jungle. T-shirts were made with a Jurassic Jungle logo. The zoo was all in on the name Jurassic Jungle in Hollywood wanted to take it away. Uh, we were stunned, quite honestly, that they would notice that the little tiny Erie Zoo and Erie PA would, would have used the word Jurassic, but uh, it, it, that's what happened. The news media could not resist the David versus Goliath story. The Wall Street Journal did a front page article. An associated press write-up appeared in newspapers all over the country. The Zoo Board of Directors were tempted to take on Universal Pictures, but common sense dictated they should not. They instead decided to change the name of the exhibit to Dinosaur Jungle. But as you took a step back, we really didn't want to get in the position of using what limited resources we had to try to fight something like this. Almost 30 years have passed. Jurassic Park went on to be the highest grossing movie of all time until Titanic came along. So they made their millions, you made your thousands. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we ever made quite enough money to put a new roof on the ice rink, quite honestly. <laughs> With the last word at the movies, John Last, Erie News Now. What's more, the zoo continued their exhibit for three more months under the new name. Meanwhile, the Jurassic Park series of movies continued over the following 29 years, and the new movie scheduled for release next month will be the fifth sequel.